The Lord be with you and with, with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. As Jesus and his disciples were proceeding on their journey, someone said to him, I will follow you wherever you go. Jesus answered him, Foxes have beans and the birds of the sky have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to rest his head. And to another he said, Follow me. And he replied, Lord, let me go first and bury my father. But he answered him, Let the dead bury their dead. But you, go and proclaim the kingdom of God. And another said, I will follow you, Lord, but first let me say farewell to my family at home. Jesus answered, No one who sets a hand to the plough and looks to what was left behind is fit for the kingdom of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. The, the readings today uh, from, Jeru uh, from Job, it, uh, this is a great meditation. And as a priest, I'd say at least once a week, I'm at somebody's bedside when they're getting ready to leave this earth. And uh, it's a bit like today, uh, the, the, the man that went to console Job. You know, there's so much we don't understand as human beings. It's a great mystery. You know, it's in many ways, we're, we're, we're almost like, uh, you know, we're, we're here on earth, but we have very little control over what happens to us in life. We have to take what comes. And in the face of death, all we can do is encourage people to trust in God as a baby trusts its mother to be born. And life outside the womb is better than life in the womb. So we believe life in heaven is better than life here on earth. So we have to gently usher them to heaven's gate and try and ease their fear. That's the only thing we can do. And I often say if Jesus Christ is not who he claimed to be, he has been the greatest conman of all times. Because if this life is not a preparation for heaven, if he's not the one that gives meaning to it, then we've all been kind. And then in the gospel, we have Jesus calling the people to follow him. And as human beings, we're fickle. We make excuses. And Jesus wants all. He wants to be first. He wants to be number one. And it's always challenging to, to, to follow Jesus, to say yes to Jesus. I often think we're blessed here at Most Holy Trinity. We have so many great workers in the church. Most people say yes to all the no. Of course, we have several that like to serve God and his advisors, and all they do is sit back and criticize everything that people do. You know, but you have that in every church. They're the ones you have to ignore. But thank God we have so many great people that do so much here at Most Holy Trinity. Keep up the good work and keep saying yes to Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Amen.